What is up guys, Photo Fever here and welcome back to another Tuesday two minute tutorial. Now we've all done it, we've all by accidentally overexposed our photos one time or another. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can correct that just using a few sliders in Lightroom. And I'm going to start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and choose a photo that you've by accidentally overexposed. Now we've all done this, so I'm gonna show you how you can easily fix this just using the basic sliders found in Lightroom. So once you've got your Lightroom open, you want to go ahead over to your develop panel and you want to go open your basic sliders found on the right hand side. So as you can see, we've got this photo here, which is clearly overexposed. And that's just due to the photo being predominantly white. It's obviously shot in an icy cold environment and there's obviously a lot of whites in this photo. So the camera's obviously worked out that the photo is fairly bright and it's by accidentally overexposed the photo. So firstly, what we want to do is just basically drop the exposure. We want to darken the overall photo. So we're gonna to go to our exposure panel found just here. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that over to the left. Now, as you can see, already we've brought back a lot, but it's turned it a little bit more gray than anything. So what we want to do is go to our highlights and we want to reduce that down all the way. Now, again, if you're shooting in JPEG, you're not gonna have as much difference than if you shot in RAW. Again, shooting in RAW can sometimes really save your photos if you've by accident over or underexposed by just a couple of stops. So what we can do now is go to our shadows. We're gonna go ahead and drag those down as well. And I want to add a little bit more contrast between the brights and the darks. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase the contrast like so. And the way to fix the grays in the highlights is by going to our whites here and raising those up until you are happy with the brightness of the whites. And as a last little touch, what you can do is add in a little bit of clarity and a little bit of dehaze. And what that'll do is it'll just add in a little bit more contrast to the highlights and shadows. And again, you can fix these until you are completely happy with the result. So what I'll do is I'll show you the before photo is the one on the left, and the after photo is the found on the right. And again, you're gonna get the best results possible if you go ahead and shoot in RAW instead of shooting in JPEG. Here is the before, and here is the after, and what a difference.